Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Our today's question on linked list is intersection point in Y-shaped linked list. The question states that given two singly linked list of size n and m, write a program to get the point where two linked lists intersect each other. Let's have a look at the examples. In example one, the linked list one is three six nine fifteen thirty, and linked list two is ten fifteen thirty. So as we can see in the figure, the intersection point here is fifteen. So the output will be fifteen. In case of example two, the linked list one is four one eight four five, and linked list two is five six one eight four five. So here the intersection point is eight, so the output will be eight. So the intuition behind solving this problem is that we first store the length of both the linked list in two variables, namely length one and length two. Then we have two temporary variables, namely temp one and temp two, which are pointed to the heads of both the linked list. We calculate the difference in the size of both the linked list, and we move further the pointer, the temporary pointer of that linked list, which was greater in length, up to different number of times. Then we keep on incrementing both the temporary pointers, namely temp one and temp two, until we reach a condition where both point to the same node. And when both point to the same node, that is the actual intersection point. So now let's have a look at the approach to solve this particular problem. Let's consider an example of two linked lists which are three six nine fifteen thirty and ten fifteen thirty. So we have few variables declared, namely length one and length two, which are initialized to zero, which are used to store the lengths of linked list one and linked list two respectively. We have another variable called difference. The right side of the screen shows the algorithm, which contains the function intersection point. Whose arguments are the two head variables, namely head one and head two, of linked list one and two respectively. We create two temporary node pointers and point them to head one and head two. So we begin our algorithm with a while loop where we check whether if temp one is not equal to null. Since this condition is true, therefore we update the value of temp one as temp one of next, and increment the value of length one. Again we check whether if temp one is not equal to null, which is true. So again we update the value of temp one as Temp one of next and increment the value of length one. So we continue this process until we reach temp one as null while traversing the linked list one. So finally we have reached temp one as null. So we exit the while loop and start another while loop for traversing the linked list two, where we check whether if temp two is not equal to null, which is also true. So we update the value of temp two as temp two of next and increment the value of length two. So again, we continue this process until we reach temp two as null. So temp two is null now, and the value of length two is three. So we exit the while loop again. Then we point temp one and temp two to the head one and head two respectively, and then calculate the absolute difference between length one and length two. So the value of difference is two. Then we check whether if linked list one is greater or linked list two is greater. Since in our case the value of length one is greater than length two, therefore linked list one was greater. So we move the temp one variable uh, frontwards up to different number of counts. That is for i is equal to zero to difference initial value of i is zero. We update temp one as temp one of next. Again the value of i is incremented, and again we update temp one as temp one of next. So now the value of i is two, which is not less than difference. Therefore, we exit the for loop, and we start another while loop where we check whether if both the temporary variables are not equal. Since temp two is not equal to temp one, therefore, we simultaneously update the value of temp one as temp one of next and temp two as temp two of next. Again, we check whether if temp one is not equal to temp two, but in this case, both these pointers point to the same node. Therefore, we return from the while loop, and we return the value temp one of data. So we return the value 15 as an intersection point. So now let's have a look at our actual code. The driver code is already given, and we just need to complete the function intersection point, whose arguments are the variables head one and head two. So as we have seen in the explanation part, we have few variables, namely length one, length two, and difference. And we created two temporary node variables, namely temp one and temp two, and we have pointed them to head one and head two respectively. So the first while loop is to calculate the length of linked list one, and the second while loop is to calculate the length of linked list two, which are stored in two variables, namely length one and length two. Then we point uh, both the temporary variables to head one and head two, and calculate the absolute difference value as difference is equal to ABS of length one and length two. 
then we check whether if linked list 1 is greater or linked list 2 is greater if linked list 1 is greater then the first if condition is true where we update or increment the value of temp1 up to different number of counts else if linked list 2 is greater then we do the same for temp2 variable temp2 then we have a final while loop where we check whether if both the temporary pointers point to the same node unless and until they point to the same node we increment temp1 is equal to temp1 of next and temp2 is equal to temp2 of next and finally we return temp1 of data so we can also return temp2 of data since both the temporary variables point to the same node so we can compile a code now since the code is compiled we can submit it and it got submitted successfully so if you found the video helpful then do hit that like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more such upcoming videos on must to coding questions for interview preparations thank you